found this program called Rat Scanner, and it's apparently an add-on to play the game. Essentially what it does is you can just search up any item in game with like a press of a button. It'll scan the item's image and then present to you how much it costs on the flea market. And then other miscellaneous stuff like how much you need, like you need 23 relays in hideout, I believe. I believe that's what the icon is. Eight mixers. I don't know if it also means it's just what I have inside the hideout, but I'm pretty sure the house does mean I need like 58 CPU fans as you saw. And then the uh, one with the check mark and two lines is just how many tasks of the item you need. So say like you're still in lower level tasks, you need three flash drives, it'll show that. It seems to work with any type of item so long as you could hover over it, but once the item scans and then the name tag shows up, if it blocks the image or if the name tag shows up, it might not actually scan. So it seems to be you gotta hover over it and it'll just overlay the image. There are different settings for it from what I've looked at it. You can change the duration of the tooltip so it could be there for like 10 seconds. I, at default it was at one and a half. I like to put it at three. I think it gives you enough time to realize what the image is and what it can do as a newer player. But I like to probably keep it at one just because since I've played so long, I kind of know all the items prices by heart. They're scanning. I don't have automatic scanning on. I don't really know what it does. Probably got to read the notes. I'm pretty sure it's just whenever you hover over it, it'll tell you. So then you can enable icon scans, which obviously what, obviously what it is. You can rotate the item and it could still scan the item rotated, which I like. And then you can use the cached images so it doesn't pull up the images every time again. And you can always change the hotkey. So I'm using F, but I can be like B, and it'll still work as a B button once you save. For tracking, uh, I guess you could use this to have an ID and then share it with your teammates. And then uh, show non-found and raid needs. Could also just be if you need something non-found and raid just in general. Seems to be just for the main quest line. And then the minimal UI seems to be, I believe what this UI is, I just have it set to price per slot just so I could see the price of the item per slot. Yeah, I'll just shoot this out in the raid real quick and we'll see how it works. All right, here we go. So I found a car battery. I don't actually know the price of the car battery, so I'm gonna pick this one up and check the price. It's F. Guess it can't check car batteries. Okay, well, it's kind of stupid that it won't let me check the car battery. I don't know if that's the to the cash and hide out or not. Do it on the off screen though? Yeah, so I could do it with other items. I guess it doesn't recognize the car battery image. Anyways, I think the rat scanner tool is pretty good for a lot of new players. You're able to look up an item for the price on the flea market in case you want to sell it on the flea or even vendor it to someone if you look over on the overlay. It also tells you how many of that certain item you would need for say certain tasks found in raid or even just hideout upgrades as denoted by the check mark and lines and or the house icon. I don't actually like it myself because personally I like to just see something that has a quick flea market rep. I don't necessarily need to know how much of an item I need for tasks or hideout considering I'm already maxed. So I think having an option in the future to disable showing that and just showing say price per slot or the price of the item on the flea market or the price of the item on vendor on the highlight rather than on the actual UI itself for the window, rather than on the window itself would be a very good addition. Having it more refined with images that it could actually search up or even search up the text name instead, that would be pretty nice. Overall, I think it's still a good add-on for a lot of new, newer players, a lot of veterans. I would say even if you might not know the uh, price of an item, eventually you could just pull it up and look at it. I think it happens with a lot of us who are unsure about weapon attachments. Maybe we don't know if it's needed for gunsmith or not. Pretty cool tool.
I would give it a try at least.